Make time to celebrate these wins. Make time to enhance these memories. Your brain wants to make happy memories so that it can actually give you more of what you want. Hi everyone, welcome to the podcast. My name is Ruby, I'm your host. I am a seven figure business coach and a flow activator working with thousands of my clients who are entrepreneurs and incredible business owners. And I help them really find a level of success, wealth and overflowing abundance through the power of flow science, understanding the psychology of flow, understanding your energy and linking that all into the wonderful essence of manifestation and law of attraction. So if this is for you, then definitely stick around. Today I am recording this from my beautiful hotel in Uluwatu, Bali. I am so, so grateful. This has been a huge year of growth and a huge year of travel, actually. We started the year off with five months of travel through the US, through Europe, and I came back to Australia, moved into our brand new, beautifully built million dollar beach home and then set off to go to London. <laughs> it's been a couple of months in between, heaps of travel within Australia, and now here we are in Bali. So this lifestyle that I lead was a very conscious decision. I wanted to lead a life that was filled with luxury and filled with beautiful travel experiences. And it is such a big part of what keeps me really feeling rewarded. And it's such a big part of how I celebrate the wins that I've achieved in the years and years that I've been in business. And this is why I really wanna to talk to all of you about the power of celebrating your wins. Something that as entrepreneurs and business owners, we are pretty shitty at and we either want to sweep it under the rug and move along to the next goal or try and get to the next milestone. And the win itself is achieved, but we haven't actually stopped to tell our entire energetic system and aura that pat yourself on the back. You've done so well. The thing that you've always desired, the thing that you've always wanted, it's here. It's real. It's tangible, it's in the 3D, and yet we just seem to kind of sail past it and forget to actually properly celebrate it. And you know what? In so many ways, I am also <laughs> speaking to myself, reminding myself that this is such a big part of why I've gotten to where I've gotten to. And I've done this with so much grace, I believe, and I've not done this fighting my way to success. I've done this easefully magnetizing one opportunity after another, truly because of gratefulness and because I do stop to celebrate my wins. And I definitely want to do this more into the next few years. And I have really loved enjoying the studies of specifically gratitude and what this does for your brain and how it expands the willingness for you to grow as human and experience more and more of that, which we'll definitely come back to. So as I mentioned, I am in Bali at the moment and why this is very specific and significant for me is because six years ago, exactly to the month actually, me, my husband and our kids, I have a stepson and my biological baby, sounds so weird saying that, anyway, my two kids, we brought them here six years ago, we stayed in a beautiful villa in Changu and I was still working in my head of recruitment job for a tech startup company. And this was a really big time because me and my husband were already very, very much of the frame of mind that we would go all in and start our business one day soon. <laughs> Isn't that an oxymoron? One day soon. Who is stuck in the one day soon category? It's a real thing, you know, when you try and trick yourself to believe that you're almost there, but then there's so much one daying that's happening, lining your ducks up in a row, making sure that you've got everything in order. So we were really at this stage of, we're gonna start this business. The side hustle was somewhat already thriving. We were making maybe one or $2,000 a month off resumes and some career coaching on the side. And that started to incrementally grow. And before we knew it, we were really operating at a level where it wasn't just fun money, but we were getting thousands of dollars of extra income in every month because of the energy we were putting into Instagram and LinkedIn and speaking to our network to let them know that this is what I do on the side of my job, which was building out LinkedIn profiles and creating resumes, covering letters, helping people get job ready because of my expertise as a recruiter. And we sat down in Bali and I wanted it to be a real act as if holiday. 
Meaning if you know the law of attraction, you are putting yourself in the situation where you are tricking yourself to believe it's already happened. And this whole movement online at the moment, the Delulu concept of be delusional and your reality will come to you faster and you will fall time and quantum leap time. Oh, I was doing this six years ago, okay? <laughs> but yeah, it was incredible. We took the laptop, I had a couple of side projects, collaborations and brands that I was already working with. And I specifically scheduled in time whilst I was in Bali and on holidays, air quotes. And I wanted to do this because it was a real act as if moment. I was taking a business call whilst in Bali, not in Australia, and it was amazing. And I still remember the first call was with this company that I partnered with, and I love the whole culture of this business. It's called WePloy, shout out to Tony Wu. And I remember taking Tony's call in Bali and just showing him around the villa. And it was just this moment where I thought, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna quit my job when I get back and I'm gonna go full time and stop one daying my business. And I did just that. You know, I left Bali and we came back and I mustered up the courage to call a meeting with my CEO and the founder of the business. I reported directly to the top leaders in the startup company that I worked for and I told them that it's time. It's time for me to really give it a go, step out, do what they did, you know, really put on my entrepreneurial P plates and get out there on my own. And it took a little while. The transition was long because I had to find my replacement. But in saying that, Bali is significant to me because it was really where my heart chakra opened to the possibilities of believing in myself enough to back my brand, to back my story, and essentially to have my own client base and to make sales. Last week, I recorded a podcast episode, which will link somewhere on screen. If you haven't watched it, open it into another tab so that you can go into that next. But it was talking about my journey from zero to six figures and six to seven figures. So I do go into it into more detail. But coming back to our topic around celebrating the wins, I think about that moment of when I decided six years ago when I was here that I would go all in. And since then, my God, so much has happened. So much. We have traveled so many countries together as a family. We have traveled in style, living in beautiful places, traveling business class and, you know, premium economy with the whole family and eating out all the time, which is such a luxury for me growing up in a family where we didn't eat out so much. It, it still continues to be a really beautiful luxury. Also, buying my house, buying two luxury cars, my dream cars. I had a BMW X5 and I have now a GLC Coupe Mercedes-Benz and I have my sights set on a Maserati in a couple of years. Also having grown a team of which I support my employees and their lifestyles and they're able to travel and buy homes and you know be in abundance and so many things my savings the people that I've been able to bless and to treat as a part of my overwhelming overflowing abundance that we have really really been able to attract because we started the business and not only that not only having money coming through but the money that comes through and what that represents is how I've helped people and how I've given my time and my energy and my life for the last six years to help other startup business owners and entrepreneurs find themselves, tell their story, sell, create companies that are sustainable and long-term. And this money that comes into my life is a representation of how much I love and care for my clients. And it's steeped so deeply in purpose work. And because of that, I feel good in my business. I never feel as though I'm being sleazy because I'm selling. I never feel as though I am tricking people into buying my courses and it doesn't feel great. I don't suffer from that side of sales psychology because I know and I back what I do. I love that I'm able to help you all activate a certain type of flow in your life that you don't experience burnout. And to me, that's worth a lot of money. And that's why I'm so sure of what I do and how I show up and what I sell and what I put out there and how much my courses and my one-on-one -on -one sessions really transform individuals. So my question back to you is, if you are having trouble right now celebrating your business, celebrating yourself, celebrating your life, 
really coming to a point where you're like, I'm so freaking proud of what I've made and what I've created. Then I really want to ask you to stop and journal today on this question. Why don't you believe in the power and the essence of your work? Why don't you believe in the energy that it represents in this world, the help that you've provided in this world? Instead of coming at it from a place where you feel so judgmental, I want you to come to a place where you are asking your highest self, what is it that I am yet to see around my gifts and my power? What is it that I've yet to see around my gifts and my power? and the value and the change that I provide to this world. Every single one of us has something incredible to offer and it's so unique and it's so different. And because of this, we are meant to be wildly compensated for our work. I think about the people in my life, whether it be my clients, the people that work for the brand and the business and what they've given to me, I'm willingly paying my invoices I'm so grateful for my tax accountant. I'm so grateful for my gorgeous assistant. I'm so grateful for Ali who heads up our entire operations and marketing aspect to the business. I'm so grateful to Michael and his incredible COO, CFO, CEO energy. I'm so grateful to those that have helped me build the company to where it is today. I have a copywriter on my team. She is absolutely amazing. Shout out Caitlin. And Caitlin just spends hours and hours understanding my voice, watching my courses, listening to my inflections, listening to how I want to say something out there in the world and puts it in this beautiful written format. That to me is something that I am very willing to pay for. So thinking about your own business, why is it that your clients would be so willing to pay you for your work? Does it reduce time? Does it fold time? Does it give them energy back? Does it provide the level of expertise? Does it help them see something that they haven't been able to see before? These are aspects as to why we can get really clear on the value we provide and why it's important to first note the value that we provide before we go ahead and celebrate our wins is because without noting how valuable we are in this world, your wins do not have a platform. They feel empty, they feel forced, and they feel like you're just sort of checking a box. It's not really steeped in this energy of, I'm so freaking proud of myself. I'm gonna have a sip of this coffee, it's probably cold by now, but I did make a little espresso. Mmm. Ah, Balinese coffee is strong! Woo! <laughs> I'm glad it was just a small little espresso, but wow. That's woken me up. That's woken me up for sure. This is why celebrating your wins is so important, especially when it comes to flow research. In flow research, it's actually referred to as an enhanced memory consolidation. This is an experience that your brain has where it is taking all the wins that you've achieved forever and things like buying a house and having children and starting your business. And when you celebrate this win, what happens is that it is telling your brain to consolidate that memory. It's telling your brain that, you know what, we like this, we're gonna bank this and we would like more of this. And why the brain plays such an important part of this process, especially when it comes to having more of what you want, attracting more and more of that, law of attraction and manifestation, is because when your memory is consolidating towards more of the wins and it's flagging a big green flag, more of this, more homes, more money, more clients like that, more experiences like travel and expansion. Your brain's gonna go, all right, we are going to look for solutions. There's a part of our brain called the reticular activating system. It acts as a signal where it will say, okay, Ruby celebrated this win. She liked this. It released beautiful, happy hormones like endorphin and dopamine and serotonin. And it's this gorgeous cocktail that your brain is literally flying heights, feeling so excited by it. And every time it consolidates that memory, it's gonna go, okay, we need to find more solutions, more opportunities. We're looking out for that more. We're more aware of it. This is why they say the study of flow is the highest highest state of consciousness. When you learn how to flow, you learn how to be extremely aware and conscious of what your energy actually needs more of and wants more of in order to create more of what you desire. Isn't that so beautiful to think about it in that respect? So some ways that you can celebrate wins, and I'll give you some examples, but I'm sure you will have many light bulbs going off right now and how you want your brain to consolidate that memory and enhance the experience is gonna be extremely important. So for some bigger wins, whenever I hit an income goal, 
How I celebrate is I take myself shopping. So I know it sounds like, oh my gosh, you know, so basic, but I take myself shopping to one of the brands that I love, whether it be Louis Vuitton or YSL or Saint Laurent. And I might not buy anything, but it is a big happy hit for me. So this is quite important. It's not like I'm going there for the sake of buying something. If I go there and I don't see anything I like, I'm still happy. It's still a reward flag for me of let's go to the happy place and go shopping, try on some shoes, try on some bags, etc. Other examples could be on the other side of the scale where I am literally not in the market to buy thousands of dollars worth of things. Instead, I might purchase a gorgeous candle, $50 candle, for example, to represent this overflowing abundance in my life. And I light it and every time I smell it, because smell is such a big sense to your brain, it triggers something so wonderful and overflowing, is like, I felt abundant when I bought this candle and I'm gonna continue feeling abundance every time I burn it. So it is so, so nice to have that as well. I just walked out with my drugs. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. Are you kidding me? <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> Another thing that I really enjoy doing is if I have a really big win, let's say I've successfully hired someone and onboarded them and they've given me more time and energy back, I'll actually take the family out. We'll go for a dinner or something and I will cheers that. I will cheers that with the whole family. I've just hired someone and it's been fantastic. My team is growing, my company is growing, it's gonna expand even more. So these are just some really basic examples. You are definitely gonna have so many of your own examples and really start to think about the things that light you up, that feel like a treat. I mean, obviously there's everyday things that you can do, like go for a walk and, you know, really say beautiful things to yourself, buy yourself a bunch of flowers, for example. There are so many ways in which that your own energy is going to respond to this. Celebrating your wins underscores recognition. And if you think about it, for anyone here that has worked for a company before, recognition and awards is a way to lift up employee morale and to really help an individual perform even better. As a business owner and entrepreneur, if you're not doing that for yourself, you're really missing a very, very big part of how your brain wants to respond to great job, good work. If you don't have a leader, a manager, a CEO, who's constantly reinforcing that with you and saying, hey, that was awesome, great week, keep it up, I'll see you next week, it's on you. So make time to celebrate these wins. Make time to enhance these memories. Your brain wants to make happy memories so that it can actually give you more of what you want. If you love this chat around flow science, manifestation, law of attraction, and how to actually expand your energy, I'm currently hosting a three day workshop. It is about how to become wealthier through the power of flow science. And very soon I'm also gonna be launching my signature program, Flow State Business. Keep close to my Instagram, keep close to the podcast. I'll be announcing it everywhere. But truly, if you learn the power of flow, you will step into a higher level of consciousness, which will help you become a wealthier, healthier, more expanded entrepreneur in your life and business moving into next year. I love you all so much. I'm going to get out there. Enjoy Uluwatu Bali. I hope you love this episode. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below with which part you loved the most. And also share with me how you celebrate your wins. Because when we actually expand this out together as a community, you never know. I feel like some of your wins are going to inspire me. So I want to know. Please leave it in the comments and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye, my loves. Mm -hmm.